but the thing is that um, the options that are on the current market are or too big mm -hmm. or too expensive. Okay. And also the lead times. Welcome to Laser Insights China. Discover the latest news, trends, and insights in the Chinese laser industry. Hi, everyone. Hola, todos. Uh, welcome to Laser Insights China. Uh, I'm your host, Xiaodong. Today, our guest is Lucas from Argentina. He has a solid background in mechatronics, and uh, he's a serial entrepreneur and uh, the newest partner of our Skyfire Laser. Welcome, Lucas. Thank you, Shadow. Thank you for inviting me to be here. I, okay. I'm really, really happy to, to be here. Thank you. Okay, Lucas, can you um, begin by introducing yourself, your, your background and your late, latest venture? Well, uh, well, I'm Lucas from Argentina, from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Um, I'm like that. I am an entrepreneur. I had that, that problem. Mm -hmm. I like to, to make things, make mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this stuff is really complicated, mm -hmm. uh, but I really, I really enjoy the process. Mm -hmm. um, I've been working in the design and mechatronics for for several years. I mm -hmm. have uh, some companies that work all around mm -hmm. that situation. Um, one of my companies is dedicated to design and manufacture uh, mm -hmm. desktop machines from mm -hmm. CNC, back informer, mm -hmm. and also fiber engravers. Mm -hmm. um, then I have a small uh, company of commercialization of laser machines, fiber cutting machines, welding machines, and also CO2 lasers. Okay. Uh, and then finally, uh, I started a, a small company that it's all uh, related to design and mm -hmm. manufacturing mm -hmm. uh, all around um, metalworking. Mm -hmm. so, uh, metalworking services. Right? Yeah, metalworking services, but it's not just the services, also mm -hmm. the the design and the development okay. of products. So we <laughs> we have the tools to make things possible. So we work with different mm -hmm. uh, design studios and companies to mm -hmm. make real the, mm -hmm. the production ideas and, and the products that they want to make. Mm -hmm. uh, so I am a user of the machines. Yeah. I am a producer of the yeah. machines. Yes. Uh, and we also sell, but we don't try to interfere between uh, our companies and uh, our clients. Okay, okay. So, is this your first time to Wuhan? Uh, this is my first time to Wuhan, no, not my first time in China. Of course. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe I should have been here before because uh, it's a really great city. Okay. With really great people and, well, a, a lot of uh, attractive uh, technology okay, to see okay. and to, to learn. So, w what, bring, uh, what brought you to, to Wuhan and to Skyfa Laser this time? Uh, I came to Juan to meet with some friends and, and suppliers. Mm -hmm. um, I came across uh, your your website mm -hmm. uh, a few months ago. I found it really interesting. So mm -hmm. I think you know maybe I can talk to to these guys and mm -hmm. and meet them because uh, I am needing some some things that they are offering. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I I think okay, it's worth the the call. Mm -hmm. So. I, I talked to you guys and mm -hmm. you were really heartwarming mm -hmm. and uh, we really had a, a good time and discussed a, a, a lot about uh, lasers mm -hmm. and stuff yeah. and this, this thing that we, we both like. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, it's, a really, it's, it's a really happy find. Mm -hmm. this. Yeah, yeah. So uh, how did you get to know us? You just search on the Google and the find Skyfire laser. And um, well, my first encounter was like that. Mm -hmm. Then um, I find a, a video from Travis. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, awesome, awesome guy. We don't. Awesome, I, awesome. I don't know him, but I, mm -hmm. I know uh, what he's doing, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's, it's, uh, it's great. Yes. He's a um, really creative people, mm -hmm. Re really creative person. Mm -hmm. So uh, that encouraged me to, to reach you. And, oh, okay. and to be there and shout no. out to Travis. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you, Travis. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm, this time you mm, bought uh, a fiber laser head. Yes. Uh, BT two ten and uh, uh, software yes. XC four thousand. Yes. So I I assume that you are going to make a uh, two laser cutting machine, right? Yes, but can you can you, can you um, describe in your design concept and uh, intended atten application for this make? 
Uh, yes, uh, it all started with uh, an idea we had uh, with one of my clients. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are mainly producing uh, jewelry for them, stainless mm -hmm. steel jewelry. Mm -hmm. And um, we were trying to find a way to make rings. Okay. And um, you, you can make it by a lathe, you can make it by a foundry. And mm -hmm. we think, why not? We can cut directly for the, for the mm -hmm. tube. Mm -hmm. So um, we started the prototype uh, okay. stage. Mm -hmm. So uh, we utilized some of the machines we had in the in our workshop because mm -hmm. we already have some some fire lasers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we made this makeshift situation where mm -hmm. with some prototypes uh, mm -hmm. we saw it really worked and mm -hmm. uh, we we were going to be able to make something mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that. Um, the options that are on the current market are or too big mm -hmm. or too expensive. Okay. And also the lead times and um, the process of finding the right machine, mm -hmm. it was going to take a lot of time. Yes. So uh, we decided to go to <coughs> an own approach. Okay. So uh, after this, this prototyping, I started to work to looking for, for suppliers and mm -hmm what uh, should be the best option mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. uh, we started to making um, an, an own solution. Okay. So we made a small software and oh, okay. a small controller, mm -hmm. but we figured out that the time it will take for us to get that thing fully working, um, it wasn't uh, good enough. We okay. need, uh, if we are able to get the product working in a few months, uh -huh. it's way more better. It's going to, uh, to generate more income for us. Mm -hmm. uh, because if we go all for it in a custom development of software and um, controller, it's going to take, uh, I don't know, maybe a year mm -hmm. to get it working fine. But there are really a lot of good solutions on the market and okay. uh, really affordable and uh, complete solutions, mm -hmm. at least for the applications we are trying to make. So. Mm -hmm. That's uh, where the XC4000 yeah, yeah, yeah. was XC4, the one. Uh, yes, yes, an affordable one. Yeah, affordable it's an affordable software. one. It's complete That's enough. Mm -hmm. It's complete enough. Mm -hmm. uh, I have already worked with uh, some Ray Tool software. Mm -hmm. I think it uh, has really grown a lot. It, it's really good software. Mm -hmm. It has everything you need. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I think uh, that's why we, we took the decision and then, well, uh, we need to finish the uh, the whole machine around mm -hmm. it, but uh, for the approach we are looking, mm -hmm. it's all about a small machine. No? Yeah. It's a really small machine mm -hmm. uh, because we don't need right now to make a uh, big stuff. Yes. Once we decide to okay, we we need to go big. We can mm -hmm. expand the machine, yes, uh, make exactly. a bigger one, but we are already going to have uh, all this experience. Yes, yes, yes. Gain experience and expand. Uh, when the time is ready. Yeah. Yes. And um, I hope the, uh, this time you're making what goes very smoothly. Okay. And expand your business, boost your business. Yes. Yes. And uh, mm, currently, how did you um, envision the fiber laser technology in Spanish speaking world, especially the South uh, Af um, American world? Um. Fiber laser technology mm -hmm. it's uh, it's something that it's allowing uh, small businesses to to grow mm -hmm. and to also small companies to bring themselves to to this century mm -hmm. because uh, in South America I can speak also more for from Argentina we have mm -hmm. a, a really big industry of metal working mm -hmm. uh, also in sheet metal processing and uh, we have uh, a lot of companies that had all the production around uh, CNC punching, for example, yeah. um, or uh, press cutting. Mm -hmm. So uh, lasers uh, are, are, are bringing these new solutions. So you have a really, uh, really versatile solution. Mm -hmm. You can have to different thicknesses to different materials and also gr uh, something great about uh, mm -hmm. fiber lasers. Mm -hmm. It's that it's a machine that allows you to create more. Uh -huh. You can create more tools. You mm -hmm. can create uh, different products without going to all the process of making these specific parts or devices. Mm -hmm. um, I think for a growing market 
like mm -hmm. South America. Mm -hmm. like, it's, it's great because people like, like us sometimes, uh, for example, DIY yes. is the thing for mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. because it's not just about big companies. Okay, okay. It's normal yes. people. That's, or, that's what we offer yeah. to the individual makers yes. for the DIY business. Yes, yes. Uh, your words encouraged us, letting us know we are making the right choice to serve yes, this group sure. of people. Yes. And um, in the future, uh, what collaborations do you think we can reach between you, Lucas, and uh, Skyfire Laser? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I think that uh, going for small machines, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a really good option to mm -hmm. make uh, small machines easier mm -hmm. and more affordable to people. It, it's, uh, it's a key point mm -hmm. because uh, when you start working with metal, uh, you are starting to work with something that lasts. You, know, you mm -hmm. can make things that last. Mm -hmm. It's a huge leap from uh, CNC milling or CNC routers that work with plastics or wood. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I think when you start to work with, with metal, uh, mm -hmm. it's a completely different approach. Uh, also, something it's, it's knocking in the back of my mind is uh, 3D printing. Mm -hmm. I oh, have yeah. worked a lot of time with 3D printing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Travis is, is working on that project. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know. Uh, I, I would really like to, to get involved in that because uh, it's something I started um, researching uh, yeah, 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 almost yeah. a year ago and um, also seeing that you guys uh, and Travis is, is working on that, mm -hmm. it's also encouraged me to, to keep looking at it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I mm -hmm. need to go one project at a time, mm -hmm. um, but metal 3D printing is, is something that really is going to change and it's all related, related to lasers. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Fiber lasers uh, are the future. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the beginning it was just the small engravers, then cutting machines, then mm -hmm. weldings, and mm -hmm. the next thing for sure is 3D printing. Yeah, 3D printing is a extremely good supplement for traditional CNC machines. Yes. Yes. And um, so one last question, do you, do you have any social media account because I think that if you um, post this making process, I mean your fiber tubeless cutting kind of machine, it will be it will be very popular. Yeah, uh, at I least have, for your local. Uh, yeah, I have yeah. social media um, from from my, me personally and also for for my companies. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something I would really love to to do, like make some documentation about all the process and mm -hmm. how how hard it is. Oh uh, yeah, but it's not easy. It's not easy, mm -hmm. but it's a really beautiful process. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a really enjoyable process. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, it's something that uh, requires a lot of, of energy. And, yes, yeah, uh, exactly. So for you, I think the difficult thing uh, is the shooting footprint uh, footage and the, the editing of the video. <laughs> that's the, that's yeah, the yeah. difficult I, I, thing. I don't think people really want to see my face at 3 a.m. <laughs> completely wasted trying to get it working some design or, you know, yeah. or, or fighting with parameters of, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. or some tube they, 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 yeah. they are fighting me. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think it's really aesthetic all that. But, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. It, it's nice to just to Just a suggestion. You, you, you can choose what... Uh, Post it or not. Yeah, a, Maybe a it's voiceover too, video yeah, okay. you know, with some photos and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. So, it, mm, yeah, it, it is very nice to talk with you, Lucas. And thanks for your uh, sharing. So, our listener, if you want to know more about Lucas, I will leave his uh, company website linked in, uh, in the description of this video. And, uh, of course, I will mm, uh, post our website link in it in this description of this video so hope you stay tuned and um yeah gracias a todos bye bye gracias.